Todoist flags. There's four of them, but how can you get the most out of them? Find out in this week's episode of Working with Todoist. Hello and welcome to another edition of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pulleen and in this week's episode we're going to explore all the various different things you can do with flags. Well at least I'm going to give you five ways that you can get the most out of the four flags that Todoist gives you. Now this is one of those, I think it's one of those unique features. Most to-do list managers generally have at least one option to flag an item, but not four. And Todoist gives you four, which gives you a lot of choices. But unfortunately, what comes with choices is we can get stuck thinking about how best can I use them. So I'm going to give you five options that you can use today and see if any of those will work for you or a combination of them may work for you, which should help you to get the most out of the flags and the most out of Todoist. Now before I take you into Todoist, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by hitting that like button below. And if you want to get all the latest tips and tricks about Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's take you into Todoist now and let me show you five different ways you can get the most out of the four flags that Todoist give you. Okay, so the first one I'm going to look at is the famous Eisenhower matrix. Now, if you don't know what the Eisenhower matrix is, essentially this is broken up into four different parts. The first one is urgent and important. Second one is not urgent and important. Third one, not important but urgent. And the final one is not important and not urgent. So that gives us four quadrants, as it's called in the Eisenhower matrix. So what we can do is we can use the flags for this particular one. So talk to Nicola about where she would like to go on holiday this year. And by the way, one of the beauties of doing this, imagine if I was just looking at the next seven days view, which is where you would do your planning for the day. And if you've just got these 10 tasks that you've got written in here, all you'd need to do is go to the three dots here and say, OK, what's that one? Is it? Important and urgent, not urgent and important. <laughs> I'm going to try and remember these. Not important but urgent and not urgent and not important. So we can say that talk to Nicola, who is in this particular case, uh, about where she would like to go on holiday this year. Let's give it uh, an important and urgent. Place I'd like to visit this year. This could be something that I really want to review. So it's important, but it's not urgent. Check passport. Uh, this is probably urgent and important. And you can go on and so on down, the, down your list like this. Check climbing gears or working order. This one is like... You see, now the way that the Eisenhower matrix works is not urgent but important is where you really want to be spending most of your time because this is the proactive state. This is where you're being proactive. It's not urgent, but it is important. So checking climbing gear is all in working order, ready for, say, a trip that you've got coming up later this week or later this month. That would be a quadrant two. Uh, talk to Tom about changing the UI. See, so these could be like not important, but not not urgent, but not important. Find out if we can create. Uh, so again, you can be doing going through the flags. So that's the Eisenhower matrix for that one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear the flags before we move into the next version. So let's remove the priority here. So yeah, it's all priority four. Okay, so let's look into the next one, which is must do today, would like to do today if I have time and whenever. So again, what we do is we go down this list and we sort of say, right, arrange meeting, I need this must be done today. So these are like the, the, the things that you're going through your mind. So must be done today. Uh, find out if we can talk to Tom. Oh, yes, I must do that today. So you're hitting the red flags. And as you notice, as I'm hitting the flags, this is automatically going up in the order that I really want to see them. So these are the must be done today tasks. These are going to be at the top of your task. If I go down here, how many miles? And let's say this is OK, I should do that today uh, or would like to do that today. So I hit that one, the blue. And as you can see, they're going up to the top. So they're being 
organized by priority. Check climbing gear. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do that today. But if I have time, I'll do that one. So that's that one. Uh, Cole Richard. Oh, yeah, I would like to do that today. Uh, oh, and I really must do that because the deadline for getting my passport in. So as you can see, what's happened here is my priorities have jumped up to the top. And remember, I'm in the next seven day view. You don't have to set anything up for this. This comes standard package, as you can see right here. This is your standard package. Next seven days is right there. So you can just move into that. And as you're prioritizing your day, you can go into that one. So that's really, really good way of doing your prioritizing is using the next seven days view. The third one is must do AM and PM. Now this is slightly similar to the one that I use all the time. So these ones, let's just say I have to check, let's just say that, okay, this is a really important, I must do this today and I need to talk to Tom, I must do that today. The next thing I'm gonna be asking is, right, what do I, what can I do in the morning? So what I would need to do in this case is, I would need to look at my calendar to see where I am in the morning. So in this case, I'm going to say, oh, I'm actually at my office. So I'm going to call Richard while I'm there. So I'll do that one in the morning. So this is the orange flag. I should arrange the meeting. So I'm in my office. I'll send that email out. Uh, oh, and I, go, I will see Kronstein today. So I'll do that in the morning. And then I can look, oh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, when I get home. So I'll do that in the evening. I would normally use a white flag for evening. Um, and let's have a look, find out. Oh yeah, I'll do that this afternoon. So I'll do that, the blue flag. And while I'm at that, I'll do that one. So this is how I would organize. And again, when you're using like must do today, the AM, AM being the P2, the orange flag, and PM being the blue flag. Again, what's happening with your Todoist order is they are coming up in the order that you want to see them. So if I switch to today view, you can see I've got the must do today task right at the very top. I've got my yellow flags or orange flags as my morning task and then my afternoon task and then my evening task. So this actually works beautifully sure to get those sorted out. Sorry, Siri was uh, interrupting me there. And the next one, which is today, this week and be uh, to be scheduled. Now, this is a really good one because I've seen a few people do this recently and I really like the idea because it takes a lot of pressure off again when you're prioritizing your day. So essentially what this is, is that I have actually got, uh, you could actually set this up quite easily in your filters. But let's just say for argument's sake, we've got three flags that we're using. So we're using the red flag P1, the orange flag P2, and the, and the uh, blue flag P3. So what we use here is the red flag is for tasks that I must do today. So again, we use the three dots We say, right, today, today, I'm going to do that today. I'll do that tomorrow. We'll do that today. And you're just going, as you're doing your prioritizing, you're just looking at uh, your tasks and saying, oh, I'll do that today and done. And then what you'll do is say, okay, what do I need to do this week? Which on these tasks? Well, I really need to do that this week. And do that one. Take to about, yeah. Okay, we'll do that this week. So we're doing that one. And um, where are we? I've actually I've got that one this week. Um, so, sorry, this one should be this week. Um, this one needs to be scheduled, so I'm going to add a blue flag to that. So, to be scheduled is the blue flag. Uh, to be scheduled and to be scheduled. Now, the really good thing about this is you might think, well, this is a bit, you know, not very strong. Well, essentially what I've done is very quickly, as you can see, I've actually gone through my list of tasks to do. Now, this is something that you can do when you're doing your weekly review. So tasks that need to be done today is when you do your planning at the end of the day. So that essentially means the tasks that you want to do tomorrow. So you would be doing this from your next seven day view. Then when you're doing your weekly review, you what you're doing is you're looking right. These tasks need to be done this week. They need to be done this week, not would like to be done this week. They need to be done this week. So you attach the orange flag to those P2. And then to be scheduled, so it's kind of urgent, that would be tasks that are on the blue flag. Anything else is, well, they're not time sensitive, we'll get to if and when you can. But when you're doing the weekly review and you're doing it this way, all you need to do is look at the blue flag. And the beauty of doing that is you can use the quick find. So even if you're using the free version of Todoist, this would actually work. So all I have to do is put P2 and I'm going to go 
return and it's just going to show me all the tasks that are p2 and remember these tasks need to be scheduled need to be done this week so all i've said all right i'm going to do that tomorrow so i'm going to hit the red flag for that uh, don't need to do that tomorrow job done and the other one is you can go up to here and you can type in p3 and that's going to be all the tasks that need to be scheduled this week so let's just say okay i'm going to do that okay that needs to be done we'll do that one uh maybe uh this week and we do that so when you're doing your week review this is a really really quick way of being able to identify the tasks that need to be done so you're not having to spend too much time thinking about things because you're always ahead of yourself and the final one and i'm just going to do this because i see why i had 10 tasks in here the final one is the one that i use every single day i've been using it for absolutely years it saved me so many times and that is using the flags for the two plus eight prioritization system now for those of you who are not aware of the two plus eight how are you not aware <laughs> what you need to remember is the two plus eight essentially stands for two objective tasks for the day and eight other tasks that you would really really like to get done now the way i do this is i combine am and pm now you don't have to do this but i just find it's much easier to do that because it alerts me to tasks that need to be done in the morning and tasks that don't really need to be done in the afternoon so what i'm going to do is i'm when i do my planning at the end of the day i'm using my next seven day view and i'm looking at this i'm thinking right this has to be done this is an objective task has to be done tomorrow and I need to, let's just say argument say, we'll call that. So that's it. My two objective tasks are done for the day. Check passport expiry date, call Richard about his idea. Um, so those are my objective tasks. The next thing I would do is, right, what needs to be done in the morning? We'll talk to Nicola. That's going to be in the afternoon. So I can have that in the blue flag. Uh, review places to list. I'm going to do that in the afternoon. Uh, check climbing gear. Yep, that's going to be afternoon. Talk to Tom. Well, that can be done in the morning. So I'm going to hit the orange flag. That's going to be done. Yep, in the morning. Uh, that can be done in the afternoon. And that can be done. Yep, that needs to be done in the morning. And that needs to be done in the morning. So essentially what I've done here is purely by accident and really that was genuinely by accident I've got my two objective tasks which must be absolutely done today and then I've got my four morning tasks and my four afternoon tasks and essentially those are just some ways that you can use the flagging system in Todoist you have a lot of options open to you and it's a wonderful way to get creative and I hope I've just given you some ideas about how you can use the flags in to do it you really want to be setting it up so that it's really easy for you to use so that you can get the most out of these flagging systems and they do give you a lot of options well i hope you found this episode useful don't forget if you have any questions at all you can leave a comment in the comment section below and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week Thank you very much for watching this video. Now have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery version 3 course has launched. Now this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and that you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.